This cloud is blocking my view. Check to see if there is a flower under the cloud, and only get nectar if there is a flower. Be careful, it can change. More clouds. Check underneath every cloud to see if it is hiding a flower before you get nectar. Remember, not all clouds hide the same thing. Now I just want to make honey. Some of these clouds might have honeycombs under them. Be sure to check each cloud. Sometimes this cloud covers a flower, and sometimes it covers a honeycomb. Use the if slash else block to collect nectar only if it is a flower. Else, make honey, because it is a honeycomb. There will be either a flower or a honeycomb under each of those clouds. Use the if slash else block to collect nectar if there is a flower. Otherwise, make honey, because there is a honeycomb. I am not sure how much nectar this flower has, but I know it has either one, two, or three nectar. Combine the conditional blocks if and or if slash else to only get as much nectar as the flower has. Remember, the amount of nectar can change each time you run the puzzle. These flowers can have three, two, or one nectar. Complete the check purple flower function and use it to collect all of the nectar at the flowers. Write the function for check flower make honey. Your function should check if the purple flower has three, two, or one nectar and get all of the nectar. Then, move forward and make honey. Assessment. This cloud is either hiding a flower with one nectar or a honeycomb that needs one honey. Complete the get nectar or make honey function, then call it to collect the nectar or honey. <laughs> 